Okay guys, today is going to be our first video with the 22 ARC, which right now is Hornady's new cartridge for gas guns. Um, 22 caliber version of the 6mm ARC essentially is what that is if you're unfamiliar. But we have some factory ammo to test here. I don't have a lot to work with and per Hornady's usual habits lately, this stuff seems to be overpressured. I've already pierced a couple primers unfortunately, so this stuff's pretty hot. But uh, we're working with what we got. We'll shoot through this and then maybe we'll do some hand loading. But I just wanted to do kind of a preliminary video with factory ammo directly from Hornady. And we're going to shoot it out of a Ballistic Advantage 18 inch barrel. Like I said, the build specs, so to speak, on this rifle will be listed in the description for those of you that are curious. But for the most part, um, the most important thing here is the barrel. Uh, there will be a longer version of this story at some point, but. We started with a different barrel, the different barrel shot like poo-poo, so we switched over to the Ballistic Advantage 18-inch barrel because that was the second thing that became available to me at the time, and this one seems to be shooting substantially better. So, we are going to be starting with the 75 grain ELD Match 22 ARC ammunition. I don't know if you can really see this or not. I'm sorry if it's not very clear. Um, and then we have their 62 grain ELD VT, their varmint load. And then we have their 88 grain ELD match as well. And there's the 62 grainers for those of you that are not blind, which probably doesn't matter. So uh, I got three rounds loaded into the gun right now. This is a 75 grain ELD match. Um, I don't have a ton of factory ammo, so we're going to shoot three of each of these. And then um, I'm probably going to shoot three more suppressed of each just to see if there's a big variance there but that depends on whether or not we have time because the sun is going down and i don't want the barrel to get super hot just for the sake of the test so we're going to go ahead and get started here with the 75 grain eld match and see how this thing shoots we're going to start off on the top left diamond here and just aim for the center So obviously we're off to a really good start. I do need to disclose this for those of you that are wondering. We are not at 100 yards right now. We're probably closer to 70, 75-ish yards. Um, so just be mindful of the fact that these are not equated to MOA as far as one inch at 100 yards. This is, this is probably more like 70 yards. So it's not uh, a one hole group at 100 or, or clover leaf, whatever you want to call that. That was, that was still a really good group, don't get me wrong, but just keep in mind the reference. Um, the reference point is not a hundred, so just be aware of that. Guys, I want to apologize. I was trying to get chronograph data on this and film it so that you guys could just see the chrono as I was shooting. I'm having a heck of a time figuring out how to do that very well, especially with the setup that I'm using right now. So um, unfortunately, I did not get any of those shots even to register on the chrono. Um, nor did I get it filmed, which doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to try to read them off so that you guys can at least get like, um, spread data and whatnot, but I just, I'm, I'm having a heck of a time figuring out how to get that to show up on the GoPro good enough and even catch the shot. So anyway, um, we are moving on to the 62 grain ELD VT 22 arc load, which we are going to be aiming for the top of the center diamond. And we're going to put three more on paper here. Hopefully not into the GoPro. Okay, I got a dead trigger. I think that may have been a brass catcher induced malfunction. In which case, I'm ripping this thing off now. Because I do not have enough ammo to screw around with this crap. And I totally crushed that case. So that one's useless at this point so we're just gonna have to hunt for brass that's okay um kind of annoying but if these things are destroying very very valuable brass at this point not like hornady brass is uh, super expensive or super fine but uh you can't get it so anyway we are going to throw another <laughs> we're gonna attempt this again let's just put it that way Still getting used to this trigger. Things kind of light throwing me off a little bit. That group kind of sucked compared to that first one. I mean, it it was 
really bad compared to the first one, but that second shot, I would blame, dang, those are hot. Uh, I would potentially blame the malfunction that we just had because it could have dented the case or something, but uh, three shots going into that size of a group at 70-ish uh, yards, not really all that good regardless, and the third shot would have had nothing to do with it, so we're not gonna blame it on that. But we are going to switch over to the 88 grain ELD match, 22R camo, and shoot our next group. And the next group is going to be aimed at the top right diamond on the target. Okay, so as far as velocity data is concerned, that was the 62 grain ELD VT that we just shot, and it had a average velocity of 3155, an extreme spread of 8.4, and a standard deviation of 3.5, which is incredibly consistent. The group on target did not speak to that, but um, it did have a pretty darn tight velocity spread, so that, that says something. Okay, next up is the 88 grain ELD match. That was a lot better. Uh, better than that, that last one, I mean. That first one's still the, the reigning king as far as that goes, but um, that did look a lot more promising. So we'll get velocity here. Okay, so for four velocity data, we had a average of 27.43, an extreme spread of 37.5, and, and a standard deviation of 15.6. Now, obviously that last one was quite a bit better, but as far as a gas gun goes, and um, factory ammo on top of that, that's actually pretty good. Um, this stuff is really hot. I mean, I'm seeing like ejector swipes on like every case. Um, they just, they, they, they're they getting beat up, honestly. So hand loading for this um, almost kind of might be a bit of a waste of time because the brass is getting chewed up pretty bad as is. But um, I just want to be transparent here so that you guys know that uh, these velocities might be a little harder to obtain. And that is without destroying brass because again, um, you're pretty much limited to Hornady brass unless you form brass from something else. And unless the brass is tougher, you're probably going to be chewing it up a little bit. So just be mindful of that, be aware. Just know that's kind of what's going on here. But um, like I said, as far as the spread goes, it's actually still not bad. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna grab the can, I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and then I'm going to rerun that same test suppressed and see how these same loads do and again we're only shooting three shot groups so obviously as far as like velocity spreads and stuff go um these are incredibly small sample sizes and we would do more if we could but we, there's just not that much ammo so i can't really i can't shoot a ton right now this is actually a little ironic um the other day which was two days ago um i actually shot a few rounds of each of these in this barrel on paper in the same configuration that this gun's in minus a change in the buffer system but uh i already did this test and uh the results were the complete opposite of what's happening right now like the 88 grain yield match shot darn near one hole uh and then the 62 grain ELD VT shot a pretty tight group and the 75 grain ELDM shot pretty crappy <laughs> so it's like pretty much the exact opposite of what we're seeing right now, which I find very ironic. Um, but, I pff, don't ask me to explain it because I don't know what's going on. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and shoot with the suppressor. It's an Infinity X by Liberty Suppressors on the end of the gun um, with the QD mount and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot. We're gonna run the same test. Basically, we're just gonna move the groups down a little bit. So this first group is gonna be just to the left side of the diamond. Second is gonna be right in the middle and the third is gonna be just to the right of the diamond. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the 75 grain ELD match. Got the chrono up, we are good to go. Oh man, gas comes up right in your eyeball. Um, so that group kind of sucked as far as considering what that first group looks like. Man, that is, uh, different so I put a 
CMC suppressor optimized BCG in this sucker and I don't actually okay so we're not running the um, radian suppressor uh, charging handle but we are running some supposedly suppressor optimized BCG I'm gonna tell you right now it didn't keep the gas out of your eyes so I might actually be putting some glasses on here in a second because that's just kind of burns a little bit so for velocity data on that one we had something um, average muzzle velocity of about 2900 an extreme spread of 29.5 and a standard deviation of 13 so still not bad um, they're hot but velocity's pretty tight for a gas gun so I'm, I'm really not complaining about that ideally I would have just shot the same grain weight suppressed and unsuppressed back to back but that would have involved taking the can on and off um, quite a bit and I'm lazy so that's why we didn't do that I also uh, don't want to burn the ever-living crap out of my hands so I opted out of that um, partly just because I'm trying to save time but also it's I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of doing that so we're gonna go for the center of the center diamond and we are shooting the 62 grain ELD VT 22 arc load I forgot about the glasses. Ah, lordy. Okay, so another not so impressive group. I can tell that BCG is helping the accuracy quite a bit. Um, all right, so uh, we're gonna move on to the 88 grain ELD and hope that uh, it shoots better because these aren't really all that great to be honest with you. Okay, so we put the glasses on because you guys always remind me that you're uh, supposed to protect your eyesight and stuff, so we got on some really dirty glasses, so hopefully we'll shoot some better groups now because I can't see very well at all. Um, the velocity data, very good. It was, for that 62 grain yield DVT, we shot an average of 3172 feet per second, extreme spread of 16, and a standard deviation of 7. So, excellent for... Um, Kind of really not that expensive of a barrel for starters and um like i said factory ammo that's pretty good unfortunately the groups on these last two really weren't good as far as i mean shooting at 70 ish yards that's just that's not that good and considering the other day i put three into like one hole and then the eldvt shot pretty dang good too i was kind of expecting more but that's okay because you know what factory ammo and uh, it's a new cartridge so we're just kind of playing around but anyway one group left 88 grain ELD match we're going to shoot this and be done for the day and then I'll probably try to shoot up the rest of this ammo get some brass reloaded please do me a favor go in the comments let me know for one if you really give any crap about this cartridge in the first place if you don't tell me if you do tell me and if you do have an interest in it what bullets do you want to see? What powders do you want me to load? Give me something to go off of so I know what you guys are looking for because I always just kind of have to come up with everything on my own and I never really know what you guys are interested in until it's too late usually. So do me a favor, leave a comment, send me a message, whatever. Just give me some idea. These things are fogging up so bad. Um, give me an idea of what you guys are interested in. And even if it's not pertaining to the 22 arc, if there's something else that you want me to play around with, if I have the means to do it, I will consider it. Um, if it's something that I have absolutely zero interest in and it's a really expensive thing to invest in, I'm not going to do it, obviously. But like I said, just throw, throw me some ideas, give me suggestions, um, whatever. I appreciate anything you guys uh, contribute to the conversation, so thank you. Okay, we're about to shoot our last group for the day going for the right side of the center diamond with the 88 grain ELD match. Now that group shot pretty good. That's definitely what I was kind of, more of what I was hoping to see. I didn't really think that throwing the suppressor on there would like totally destroy our groups, but um, overall I think it made it worse. So we still did okay. Um, like I said prior to that group, um, 
if you guys have anything you want to see as far as hand loading goes for this thing, holler at me. I would like to know what you guys are looking to see tested. So as far as velocity goes, that last one, I'm still, I'm actually really impressed with these. Uh, 27, 27 feet per second average, 21 feet per second extreme spread, and a 10 feet per second standard deviation. Technically it was 9.5. I'm starting to round these numbers off because it's kind of annoying um, doing the decimal points, but like realistically speaking, 10 feet per second standard deviation. Gosh dang it. Standard deviation is still pretty good. I am not upset with that in the slightest, especially for factory ammo. That's pretty good. I just wish this stuff didn't look like it was struggling to not explode as it comes out of the gun. Um, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but this thing just... That was actually my fault, so that, that one's not a good example. But we did pierce primers on a few of these, so they're warm. Just be mindful that if you go buy factory ammo, just... I, I don't even really know what to tell you in that regard, because realistically speaking, you can't just load it lighter. So just pay attention to it, and if something looks incredibly unsafe, then maybe just stop shooting it, because... Uh, even if it's factory ammo, there's a, still always a risk of getting hurt when you're dealing with a small controlled explosion inside of this guy. So that pretty much is the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. As said before, please leave a comment as to what you guys want to see following this video. Check out the stuff in the description, whether it be our website or our other social media platforms, and please come back again soon. Stay risen, take care, and we will hopefully see you all in the next video.